I'm Anil Kumar and here is question number 8, a test question based on circle theorem. ABCD is a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle with tangent TA making an angle of 32 degrees with chord DA. So that's 32 degrees. Find the angle ADB, ADB. So let me just join D and B. ADB. If angle DCB is 100 degrees, if angle DCB is 100 degrees. So a quadrilateral inscribed within the circle is given along with the tangent. You need to find the angle ADB. That's the angle which you need to find. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now to find this angle, we can use circle theorem. When we say ABCD is a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle, that means ABCD is cyclic quadrilateral. All four points are on the circumference, right? So that's an alternate way of saying that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now if ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, then the rule is that sum of opposite sides, sum of opposite angles, let me write in short, angles is 180 degrees. So from there, we can say that the angle DAB plus angle DCB equals to 180 degrees. And so we can find the angle DAB, right? So the angle DAB is equals to 180 degrees takeaway angle DCB, DCB, which is given to us as 100. And that is 80 degrees, right? So we know this angle is 80 degrees. So we got one angle, but we need to find what X is. How do we do that? Now for that, we'll apply the second rule. That is, we have a chord, right? This is the chord, and that's the tangent. The angle between them is given to us. Is it okay? Angle between them is given to us. So this angle is equal to which angle? So you can apply the alternate segment theorem. Right? So we can apply alternate segment theorem. Which says that this angle should be equal to, now we're talking about this segment, right? The alternate segment's angle opposite to this segment is right there. So from alternate segment theorem, the angle DBA should be 32 degrees. So we know angle DBA equals to angle TAD, which is 32 degrees. Is it okay? 32 degrees. So two rules are applied here to get angles in the triangle which we just constructed. So from here, we can find X, sum of angles in a triangle equals to 180 degrees. And therefore, x is equal to 180 degrees, take away 80, take away 32, right? And that gives us the answer, 100, take away 32, 68 degrees, right? So we get our answer as x equals to 68 degrees. So this is a very interesting example where Two rules are applied, so I'd like you to go through this and understand how we derive at the result. You need to give reasons for every step as we have done. I hope you appreciate it. 
thanks for watching thank you and all the best